Hey guys, welcome to Momentum Mindset, where clarity in its courage and progress begins with one powerful step. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button now for weekly marketing tips and mindset that can boost your brand to grow. So um, let's get started. So, um, so one thing you should know is losing customers at checkout can be really, really, really annoying. <laughs> you are not alone, but with just one email flow, you could recover 10 to 20% of those sales. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your Abaddon checkout email flow in Clavio, even if you haven't done it before. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through um, the steps. Okay, so first things first, um, you are going to log in. Let's say you have already logged in and um, now you're going to choose a button to cut reminder. So click on it. Okay, set the trigger to um, start a checkout. Okay, click on it. So now you're going to see um, everything that is over here. So limit the trigger to only certain profiles. So if you wanted to limit it to some certain profiles, you can do that, but we're not doing that now because I just want to walk you through um, how to do it first, you know, the basic way. And then, so we're not going to do all of that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to um, add the time delay. So when do we uh, set this on? So we're going to set it on 34. Um, so after they tried to check out, we can either wait for three hours or um, for us, depending on what you want to do. But I would say three hours, give them time to think, give them time to reflect on the product, whether or not they're going to come back, you know, just give them time. Sometimes they do come back without you having to do all of this, but it's really advisable to have your abandoned um, catch reminder set up. Okay, so we're going to put it for three hours. So three hours and zero minute okay since we didn't change the time there's no need to hit um clicking on the save body we can just close it and then so we set it for three hours so what are we doing are we um what's our target is it through mail or through sms so we're going to do it through email or text message so these days i think people check more on their phones than email mm. so i mean in most cases sometimes you can just do both to see what works for you you know um so if you wanted to do SM, uh, sms which is test message you uh will set it up and then you know click on the yes and then you know you can edit and then it's loading my internet is a bit slow today what's going on <laughs> So yeah, we're, good. we're just going to wait, okay? So, um, we've opened the um, test message one. So here we can see um, different options, okay? So we can, we have options A, we have options B, option B, okay? And then we can choose whichever one we want. So. Um, this was set for um, option one and option B. So if you have Clavio and you are subscribed to the, um, um, if, you're so, if you have a subscription, sorry, then you can use the Clavio AI, but in this case, um, there is no um, subscription on this particular account. So we can't use it. But yeah, if you have it and it can help you, you know, write out everything you wanted to do but here you can just write it yourself in this case here we've already written what we want um, so here 
what you can see now is in German language, unfortunately. But yeah, it's the same thing. Whether you're writing in English or German, you mean the same thing. So, you know, yeah, that's fine. So, if you want to see how it's going to look on the phone, this is how it is. And then customers can just press, um, press the stop button. So, this simply means um, you want to unsubscribe as a customer. You know, every time you must give customers the option to unsubscribe. Never forget this. They should have the option to unsubscribe. So yeah, so this is, you know, you can write different um, subject line, different tests, you know. Just, you know, try out whatever works for you, you know. So this is why you, we always advise, advise people to do A-B tests. So you, you you can measure which of the um, which of the test messages um, generated or which one was even better, which one has a good click through rate, you know. So that's why we always do the A/B test to find out the um, click through rate, you know. Yeah. So that's it. Um, so now we can go to overview. You know. So. So if you had, um, you know, set this up and then sent out, uh, your click rate would have been different from what is on the screen right now. So it could have been like up to maybe 5%, 10 whatever, you know. And if people placed order through that um, abandoned cart reminder, you could also see it here. And how many orders were placed, you, could, you would have been able to see it there. So... And if which of the A-B testing worked well, or which one did they use to, um, which one did the customer use in placing the order, you would also see it there. So, you know, things like that are really, 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 really good. Very important for you to do this. Whether you are a big business, a small business, you should definitely get this immediately done. Okay? So... You see, if there was recipient, you would see it here. Link activities, you know, conversion, you would also see it here. So, this is the um, test message one. Okay, so now let's go to, uh, if you wanted to do email, you would come down here. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. So, you put your brand logo here okay this is a test version okay i did it for a brand and uh, yeah a jama brand so um everything obviously is in german because their um, target market is german they are germans and um yeah so you know just put your test here and then the product of course the product the um, the customer browsed or wanted to buy will be here and the name will be so we're not changing anything on this page okay we're just gonna leave it the way it is okay so um yeah so that would have been it for the um, email one so i mean you can always change the style you know the image well however way where you want it if you wanted to put your social links you could do it and um video you know so all you just need to do is click, change the text um, size, the font, the text area background. You can play with it. You can change it to, you know, blue, black, even red, you know, whatever what, work, work, whatever works for you, you know. So, you know, this is what you would have been able to do. So, yeah. So you can always go back to your previous setting. So if you wanted to change the block pattern, you could do it. So basically, it's it's not that hard, but it's just that sometimes people tend to ignore important things like this, which is very, 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 very wrong. As a business, you want to you don't want to have those abandoned checkouts. You know that's not what you want. And if you already have it, you should try to. Um, Get those things back. Very, very important, you know. So, um, for your email marketing, um, 
do not forget because this is an email so you have different subject like you have subject lines you have preview test you have sender name you know don't forget to um change this or don't forget to put your sender name and your email address um and the subject line is very important because um you want something engaging right something that's going to catch their attention you know make that very engaging and also your preview test is also very important make it also very engaging and once you've done that you're really you're pretty much um, ready to go okay so but do not forget to um click on live like put it on live so now let's go back so once you're done editing your email and your um text message okay please if you want if you want it manual or you want to put in draft or you want it to go live already do not forget to hit the live button <laughs> don't forget to click on the live you know for it to go live that simply means you're publishing it you know so always do that okay if you want it on draft you want to do it manually or you want it to go live so always press that okay so now we've done that now we did first we did for three hours and we want it further okay we want to remind them again after two days that guy <laughs> people you have um something in your cart that you have not yet um paid for okay so what we do again is we remind them after two days but we can also remind them after three days four days whichever one you want to do you can just do it so but after two days it's also very fine you know you reminded them after three hours and after two days you just want to remind them again it's just a friendly reminder you know so you will come down here again and then choose a unique subject line and also you know look for um think about in an engaging uh, preview again so and then come on use it and write it down like here it says are you sure you want to leave this behind don't forget da, 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 da. so we've got that do not forget your logo whenever you are creating your um, email marketing your logo is very important and then um, have that in place and then once you're done again you head back click on live and that's it so and then end it so that's pretty much um, what you need to do for your abandoned um, catch reminder. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think I've covered um, all you need to know. Um, yeah, so that, uh, that will be it for now. So once you're done, update status. Yeah, live. And then save. Everything is now set to life. So that's it. And then if you want to know more about email marketing or how to set up Clavio um, email marketing, just, you know, let me know and I'll, you know, create another video to explain further. For you so um yeah thank you for watching yeah so yeah that's it like i said um your abandoned checkout flow is now live and ready to recover lost revenue ah huh? so small steps like this creates big results okay and that's what momentum mindset is all about like i said previously if you have a question or want help you know in creating more flows Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe, like this video and keep your business growing one step at a time. And do not forget to share to your friends or co-workers, colleagues. Thank you very much and um, do have a lovely one. Bye for now.